Good morning, my friends. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is Tanya, Sidegate Crafts. I am so, so grateful that you're here with me today. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by and for all your love and support. Please feel free to hit that like and subscribe button because <laughs> I always forget to tell you and mention that I would love to have you join my YouTube family if you get anything out of this content or would like to see more. That's a great way to do it and da -da -da -da, it's free. Okay, you guys, so today we are doing... Watercolor Wednesday. Yep, yep, yep. It's Watercolor Wednesday, and I want to try something different. I haven't tried this before. It should work. Um, in all theory, it should work, so I'm kind of excited to give it a try. I have got in this jar, this is Core Watercolor Ground. Now, what is Watercolor Ground? Watercolor Ground, if you don't know, is basically something that you can use on your paper or your surface that you can watercolor on. So it gives you a surface that will be, um, will hold up to watercolors. Now it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a gesso kind of kind of thing. So I don't know, I'm not seeing that this one says transparent and I thought I got a transparent one too, but I'm only finding this jar. So it's probably going to be opaque. And that's fine too because I don't care. Actually, it's somewhat transparent. We're just going to put this on this book page because I was thinking in a journal, wouldn't it be cute to be able to use our watercolors in there, but also have the fun element of this background? And I just thought, why not try it? Why not? So we're just going to spread this on this paper going to be doing any kind of painting tutorial or anything but because you know I'm not that good at it I'm just I'm still a learner and it may crinkle the page a little bit I'm not sure it looks like it's warping a little bit but not enough to be too concerned about I think that's probably good we're going to let that dry and we'll move on to the painting part that was the that was the not fun, well, it wasn't not fun, but it wasn't the exciting part, was it? The exciting part is adding colors and all the things. I'm gonna put some of these things away while I'm at it. So yeah, today's go back to work day. And um, I have not gotten quite as far as I'd hoped with my projects here but at the house, but I'm very pleased with how far I did get. So I got a lot of crafting done. I took the time for me, honestly. I wasn't feeling too good yesterday, and honestly, I'm not feeling too good today. I feel like I'm coming down with a sinus infection or an ear, or ear infection or something. I don't know. My ear hurts and in a really weird way that I'm not used to and feeling kind of punky, but we're going to get through it. We'll figure it out within the next day or two. It's not going to debilitate me. I should be able to work. I don't have a fever or anything, so, you know, count my blessings and, and uh, go to work today. So... It will be fine. It will be fine. Kind of excited to go back and see all the things that have been going on. All right, so I'm thinking about using these pastels today. Although I... No, I'm going to use the pastel. I'm just going to stick with this palette today. It's almost dry already, which is good. It's not like the water, the water didn't soak through or anything. So this is going to dry. <laughs> I'm blowing on it like it's going to help anything. Um, let me show you what I made yesterday. So if you saw it while we're waiting for this, if you saw my video yesterday, you saw that I made the ID cards. I'll show you those. I love, love, love how they turned out. I think they turned out so cool. And the backs of them turned out really neat too. Super happy about those. I went back and remember all those tags I had for the other day? that I was using with the, the napkins. Well, that whole pack, I went through the whole pack and did the same process on these. And I am so excited how they turned out. Look how cute they are. I'm just gonna have these in my stash. Now I added the eyelets to them. They've got a shiny surface, so they kind of did a really cool um, blendy thing uh, as I worked with them and kind of smeared a little bit which really left a neat effect. Now I did a bunch like this and then I took a bunch of them also and I added these butterflies to them. 
I made butterflies out of coffee dyed paper. Oops, this one just fell, but that's okay. With coffee dyed paper and added those on top. But I stamped and used the same stamps on there. Aren't they great? I almost wish I had more, but I just sat down and mass made. I just made them all kind of the same-ish and just had a blast with it. The butterfly came from my, my punch, my butterfly punch. Made it really easy. And I used the coffee dyed paper, which is copy paper. And then I used, um, I backed it. So I, I glued each one of these as two, actually, because um, I put some uh, cardstock on the back of it some for my scraps. But I just, I love them. I'm so excited. And I was thinking about taking these and putting the paper. So look at, look at this. I'm just showing you guys stuff while we wait for that to dry. Remember this, the Art House Whimsies cover photo? What if I took some of those photos and cut them out and put them on here? Wouldn't that be cute? Here, let's try one and see, actually. Let's, let's see what it would look like. Um, let's get an adult. We'll just get the same picture as an adult here. I think that's the same guy. I mean, no, it's a different guy, but that's okay. This one will work. Because we could use these small pictures, too. So we're just doing all kinds of things today. This is just kind of how I craft, though, right? You guys are used to me by now. <laughs> Does it got, bug you guys that I do all kinds of different crafts? I hope not, because it's it's fun for me. This is my this is my happy space, and sometimes I just kind of get involved and do whatever pops up. I'm gonna trim it just a tiny bit smaller because I want it to fit fit well. Oops, now it's crooked. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, hang on. So these are from Art House Whimsy on Etsy. If you're interested in getting these photos, um, I absolutely am loving them. Louisa Heinzel also has amazing digitals on her Etsy shop with, with uh, people's faces too. I use hers as well. Oh, I forgot the pin again. This could be, I had thought about this last night. I thought, you know, I could put those faces on there. I wonder if they'll fit. So now we know they will fit. And we'll see how they look. I think uh, if I do it, I'll probably put some faces on some and leave some plain as well. But I think this will be fun. I'm just putting these faces on everything, aren't we? I'll just put him right there. Yeah, look at that. Oh, you guys, I love that. And then I, what I think I would do is go back and stamp over it, too. With the stamp over it, it makes it feel a little bit more complete, like it's um, like it's supposed to be. There. In fact, I might have... We're still doing Watercolor Wednesday. I'm still waiting for this to dry, and I just kind of messed it up. But hang on. Let me see something. Here's a stamp right here. Here's a stamp right here. Where's my blue? My blue is... Right there. Let's just see how it turns out. Boy, am I distracted. Squirrel. But that's okay. This is how we learn. There's the one I used before. Let's try this one, though, since it's in my hand. And see if it's. Oh, something just fell on the floor. See, and it's a good thing I looked because it's upside down. Let's go this way. And then if you put the stamp over it, it looks like it was actually part of it at the time. There, look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely going to be cutting out some pictures. That's really fun. And I probably distress them before I put them on there because it looks like distress them with the, with the scissors, the edges. Because it looks very new compared to the tag. Be looking all beat up. So I really, really like that. So yay, there's something something different and fun. So I'll be working on those. Not now, because we're, we're watercolor Wednesday. Wednesday. So I'm going to get a sip of coffee. 
Is it dry? Is it dry? Can I play yet? It's not, you guys. Let's hear. Let's hit it with the with the heater. All right, hang on. Can be noisy for a second. Almost. That should do it. All right, now I know that you can use gesso also to do this. Um, so you've got some op options there. You can use the watercolor ground or the, or the gesso. You can also get that, like I said, the clear wa um, the clear watercolor ground so that you can see more transparent. But it might be fun to also stamp on here and then paint over that. We're not gonna. I don't think we're gonna do that today, but. Oh, we should. You know why? Because I mentioned it. Let's try it. Let's just do a spot with that on it. And I do have stamps out and everything, so why not? Let's just, let's try it. Let's, let's just go all out and play. We're just playing anyway. Why not? This is like an ABC one, two, three stamp. Um, not sure. This may have, I don't know which stamp set this comes from. No, this might not stamp very well because that edge. But we're just gonna do that. And then what I'll do is, how did I get part of it there? Interesting. We'll put the stamp over on the other side so I can get closer to that edge. That will work better. Of course, use whatever stamp you want. else to put this one again up here okay and then let's do what are you doing what are you doing over there Gretchy? what you doing girl not you cashy she has been tormenting me all morning that cat oops i was hoping to get some music print on there but maybe not well, that's looking sloppy. That didn't work very well. It's because my surface isn't flat. So should we just flatten the surface and try again? We're not going to start over, but I mean, we can try this part again. Let's put that book down. I'm making a mess with my stamping. Probably should have left it well enough alone. Anyways, we know it works. Okay. That works anyway. Let's paint. Let's get to the painty part. Because I'm just making a mess now. I think my colors are turned around. They go this way. But I think I can tell what colors are what, right? Okay, so let's make some pink flowers. I'm just using this little palette by Prima, I believe. Is this Prima? I think it's Prima. Yeah, this is a Prima palette. Let's put my pit in the glue. Hey, hey! That way it doesn't roll away. Done. We're not going to need it anyway, because we're painting today. And we're just going to kind of... Ooh, too much. Too much. Well, it doesn't work exactly like watercolor paper, mind you, but you can paint on it. We'll see if we actually like the results, though, huh? I 
and then we'll drop a little bit of this darker pink down at the bottom there. Yeah, see it's not spreading like watercolor paper. But maybe we can help it. definitely still work it. It's just different. Okay. So there's that. on there did I so I think we're gonna get kind of hints of color and I'm not opposed to it I don't hate it not sure I love it Could also be my, you know, lack of experience and technique. No, couldn't be that. <laughs> couldn't be that. Yeah, that would be called sarcasm, guys. Just so you know. Actually is kind of cool though, huh? It's not bad. It's not bad. It's doing its thing. It's doing something kind of kind of neat. Let's get some of that dark green in there, or darker green in there. I may just have the wrong color palette. Well, I mean, it looks kind of cool. If you just look at that part, it looks kind of cool. And actually, I think it'll go, okay, so what I'm planning to put this in is an Easter journal, and I think it'll go actually kind of nicely in the journal that I'm thinking of putting it in. It's just going to be, you know, a piece of artwork in there. It's not going to be a major focal or anything. But. So we know we can stamp on it, we can paint on it. going anywhere so that's kind of cool actually you know the opportunities it it opens up when we find different mediums and different products is kind of neat to play with you know it's awesome because that just makes your mind go hmm, what else can I do with that I bet you guys can come up with some great ideas for this And I hope that you may be inspired to try out your watercolors if you haven't lately. Get them out. Let's do it. Let's play with them. I don't play with mine nearly enough. I'm, I host Watercolor Wednesday. It's an open collaboration for anybody who wants to play with watercolors or, um, you know, practice your techniques or whatever. Don't have to be an expert. 
just get them out. You know, we all have, we pretty much all have watercolors in our craft room somewhere for some reason, whether it's for our grandkids, we're using, you know, Crayola, bring them out, let's do it, let's play. Um, it's a, it's not an easy technique, so a lot of times I know people get a little discouraged. Kind of like, you know, I have been a little discouraged with, with my watercolors, and that's partially why I probably haven't played with them and as nearly as much lately. Um, I need to, and I want to, because I really enjoy them, but, um, you know, it doesn't have to be hard. If we, we just got to learn and practice. Practice makes perfect. My grandma used to have this um, record album. Maybe some of you are familiar with it, but it was called Music Machine. And there was a song in there, Practice Makes Perfect. We used to sing that all the time. Practice makes perfect. I guess if I practice, the better I'll be, or something like that. The more that I practice. And it was, um, it was so cute. But I think of that all the time. When I'm practicing. All right, so I think I'm going to kind of let that be just a little bit. I'm going to use, what is it, Cash? I think I'm going to use some brown centers. And I'm just going to dabble. I'm not going to even change my brush. I'm just going to... You have been impossible these last few days. I don't know what she's going to do when I go back to work because she has been so vocal and needy, I swear. She's driving me crazy. So if you think I'm ignoring my cat, I am. I'm ignoring her. You know why? Because she's laying at my feet, just, just talking. I just gave her a can of cat food and been scratching on her all morning. Been loving on her. Yes, I have too, you fibber. But she, um, yeah, she's just, you know, yelling at me. I know. She's not yelling. She's actually talking, but. They say that's pretty normal with cats as they get older. They get more vocal. It's like, oh my god. How much more vocal could she be? She's been very needy. She actually laid down under my chair so I couldn't move. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's where she is right now. And she doesn't usually do that. She's usually sleeping across the room, but... Not lately, not these last few days. She has been right under my feet. I think she's enjoying having me home. I've been enjoying being home. It's like, I need to retire or something. Something. Let's see if I can... Oops, which one's the lighter one? This one's the lighter one. Trying to stipple on the dry area, but I didn't really dry it. I just made it more wet. A little lift that. I don't like that part anyway. That's kind of messy. <clears throat> so you can even lift your paint from this um, this watercolor ground, which is nice. Oops, it's still kind of wet. That's okay. No, it's just my brush is too wet. Oh, she went to find her corner now. She's going back to the fabric pile. She likes to sleep on the fabric pile over there. And I probably have to wash all that before I ever try to use it. What? I know. I know. I'm talking smack about you. That's right. I know you have your own fan club and everything. I know you're important. It's true. It's true. Everybody loves you. 
I know I do. <laughs> she's a pain in the butt, but she's my pain in the butt. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can dab some more of this darker in here. I may go back with a a mark. I, I probably, I think I am going to go back with the marker when this dries. We're going to dry it and go back with a micron pen and add some detail. There, that's kind of cool, right? And then if I use that, I'd probably cut it off here, cut it here, and probably add something in here, like um, ephemera of some sort. Probably trim it here, I'm guessing. Something like that. So let's see, let's dry it and use that pen and see where we're at. kind of cool because these colors actually look brighter now that they're dry and the interesting thing is the ink from the stamp seems to have come up to the top or at least it looks like it's was stamped on top of the flowers which is really kind of cool that's a neat effect so I'm gonna get out a micron pen I'm gonna get out a couple different sizes because I'm not sure which ones I want I, like. I don't haven't used these for so long that one's okay. I think I usually use the 8 or the 3. I think I'm going to use the 8 is thick. The 8 is really thick. How about a 4? Here, we'll use 4. Um, you don't have to do this, of course, but I always tend to um, do a little line art on mine just to and maybe I shouldn't because I've been doing haven't done this for so long. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. But I feel like it gives it a little something extra. You don't have to go along the lines per se just kind of go where you would want your lines to be and how you see it and there you go and I actually missed a pedal in there so I'm going to fake a pedal in there and I don't think anybody's ever going to know the difference. Or if they do, they won't say it, you know. I say there's a pedal there. There we go. Just kind of hint that those lines are there. And then we'll go get that center. I'm just drawing little circles to help fill that in. Just to kind of... It's just kind of sketchy. Sketching it in. 
I feel like it adds something. Isn't that cool? Okay. would say like, what are you doing <laughs> I'm having fun that's what I'm doing that's what I'm doing I kind of did that one more like a leaf that's not what my what wasn't what I intended but that's okay Okay, let's do the center. Now remember when you're using um, these pens with your watercolor, make sure your watercolor is dry because one hit of water and this pen is ruined. And you don't want to do that. Don't want to ruin your pen. I like it. I really like it. Do you guys like the lines better or the, the plain better? I'm digging this, especially because it kind of brings, kind of helps it to, uh, I feel like it blends it with the stamps that we did in the back. center was kind of weird but that's okay we'll kind of help it fill in with the dots There's our watercolor Wednesday. Simple, simple, simple. A lot of fun. This actually opens up some good opportunities. What do you guys think? You can use that on book page. This is just a uh, thesaurus, I believe. And we've got some pretty flowers. Your flowers may be better than mine. Give it a try. Hope you do. I hope you're inspired. I hope you will get out your watercolors today. Give it a shot. Use that hashtag. I'll come check you out and support your channel too. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. I love you all. Take care. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.